is our last question. Fill in the blank. Uh, demand for this good is inelastic, elastic, or unitary elastic with respect to price. This is a normal or inferior good as income elasticity is less than, greater than, or equal to zero. It is a necessity or luxury good as income elasticity is less than, greater than, or equal to one. Widgets and gadgets are complements or substitutes because I'm not really interested in this question. Let's see what our junior tutor said. Um, looks like they just went through all of the scenarios, which is good. Maybe I'll do a quick little lesson. So elasticity of demand with that ED is going to equal the percentage change in coin demanded over the percentage change in price. Demanded, sorry. Um, there's essentially three scenarios, the elasticity of demand, absolute value of the elasticity of demand, I should say, should be, can be less than one, can be equal to one, one, or it can be greater than one. Um, if it's greater than one, we see that it's elastic. That means that the numerate, when there's a change in price, the numerator changes more than the denominator. So uh, you're responsive to it. Unit elastic, the numerator and denominator will change the same amount. So your change in demand to a price change is gonna move proportionally. Um, and lastly, if it's less than one, we're gonna say it's inelastic. That means the percentage of change in quantity demanded um is not going to change very much when there's a change in price uh so you're not really responsive to a price change so inelastic quantity of demand is uh typically aligns with a uh luxury goods or goods you don't really need oh no sorry i said that backwards um inelastic elasticity of demand aligns uh with necessities things you have, for example, you still need to eat food. If everything at the grocery store doubles in price, your quantity demand isn't gonna change all that much because you need to eat to survive. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if a good quantity demand, if the elasticity of demand for a good is elastic, that might correspond with a luxury. Um, so, you know, maybe a lot of you tried to buy the PS5 when it came out the other day. Somebody got there first and now they're trying to resell it for like 1200 bucks. Um, so the percentage change in quantity demanded is probably going to fall a lot because nobody really needs a PS5 and what you may, might have paid $500 for or whatever it retails for, you're probably not going to pay $1,200 for. Uh, and if you did, wow. But our junior tutor, back to the um, fill in the blanks here. I think they've gone through every situation. Good on them. So... All of the below sentences should be correct. If they're not, I'll stop and correct them. You said that demand for good is elastic with respect to price change. If changes in demand is greater than the changes in price, that's kind of what we just spoke about with the numerator and denominator. So if change in demand, the numerator is greater than the change in price, it's gonna be elastic because the equation will come out to be greater than one. Similarly, demand for the good is inelastic with respect to price if changes in demand uh, are less than the change in price, for again, reasons we just mentioned. And demand for good is unitary elastic or unit elastic as I've written. With respect to price, if changes in demand is equal to the changes in price. So that's what I was talking about, proportionality. Uh, you said that normal, normal goods have a positive income elasticity demand. Inferior goods have a negative income elasticity demand. Um, I always have to remind myself what the definition of inferior goods is. I think it's like when the price increases, demand increases with it. Oh no, it's when a demand demand drops when incomes rise. So this is for things like 
like Mr. Noodles and stuff. You eat as a broke college student, but then you start working, you get a taste of that good life and you don't want to go back to living off pizza pockets and Mr. Noodles and things of that nature. Uh, so they'll have a negative income elasticity demand. Luxury goods and necessities will both have a positive income elasticity demand, as I alluded to. Uh, but necessities will probably be inelastic and luxuries will probably be elastic. Lastly, it's true that widgets and gadgets are complements because cross price elasticity is negative. In this case, if the price of one good increases, then the demand for another good decreases. Um, yeah, and widgets and gadgets would be substitutes if cross price elasticity is positive. In this case, if the price of one good increases, then the demand for another good also increases. So substitutes are things like uh, burgers and pizza. If I'm feeling fast food and the price of burgers has doubled, I'm probably just going to get some pizza instead. It's pretty much the same thing. Scratch is the same itch. Whereas compliments might be uh like if i'm going out for a burger i'm you're probably pretty likely to get like a pop with it or some fries or whatever um yeah so uh our junior tutor did an excellent right up there i think that should be it it is lovely um so uh thanks for watching today uh i enjoyed having you i really can never remember what to say at the end of the video i think if you need to ask questions there is a, a link uh, in the description below uh you can type in your questions if you have economics questions uh I'll either i'll answer them or our other senior tutor Ose. uh i think you can there's a share button you can share with your friends like etc uh, thanks for, I guess I went an hour. It was only planning on going 45 minutes. But thank you for sitting through the last hour with me. I'll probably be on maybe Sunday night if you wanted to tune into the live stream. Uh, this has been Kevin from One Class. Thank you for watching.